In this tutorial, we're going to talk about working with templates and some of the global formatting features that we've added to uh, ProPresenter version 4. Now, some of you are coming from version 3 where we had the ability to make multiple format changes to multiple presentations all at once. And we still have that capability within ProPresenter 4. And to demonstrate this, I have a playlist set up that has a number of different presentations, each with their own style. So you can see that as I click through these different presentations, I have many that are left aligned, some that are right aligned, each one of them with its own font. Uh, this one has a different color attached to it. Now, generally when I'm doing a particular worship service, I would want to have all of these slides formatted exactly the same way. Now, in ProPresenter 4, we have individual text boxes on the slides. In this case, all of these different uh, presentations are formatted with a template that just has a single text box that fills up the entirety of the, of the slide. And I'm going to talk a little bit more as this tutorial goes on about how you can manipulate uh, the template that is assigned. Uh, in this case, the template that was used for all of these has a single text box, again, for each individual slide. And then the text is formatted appropriately or, or individually within each one of those text boxes on each individual slide. So to demonstrate the global formatting options, I'm going to actually come up here to the upper right of the interface and choose the format button. And this is actually going to bring up our format bar. And when I start doing manipulations to this, like changing the font, and I'll change this to one of my favorites, which is Arial Black you can see that it affects all of the slides of this song. Uh, it's not affected any of the other presentations that I have within here because they were not selected. However, if I were to actually select multiple presentations and make a font change, in this case I'll go to, uh, we'll do Arial Regular. This will take a second. But all of the presentations now have been changed to the Arial regular font. Now none of the other characteristics of these presentations have changed. The, the colors remain the same uh, as they were, the alignment, the, the font size and whatnot. Uh, but there, we can affect all of those different things right within this, this format bar. So I can change the size of the text. Uh, I'll make this 100. And when I hit enter, it immediately affects all of the slides of this particular presentation. I could change the color of this. So I can make it a blue, um, and by doing that, now all the text is blue. And I can also affect the alignment. Now, you'll notice that there are a lot of uh, boxes that are already highlighted on this format bar. This is not telling you the current status of the individual text on each of the slides, because each individual slide can have their own characteristics. These are just formatting options. Uh, these are the last used formatting options that I've had within the, within the format panel. So not everything is going to take effect immediately. And again, it's not showing you the present status. All of these are just settings that I can actually set both on the, in terms of, uh, I already talked about font and size and color. Uh, we have alignment, whether you want left, center, or right align. We also have the ability to specify the vertical alignment, whether it be top, middle, or bottom, again, of the text box on each individual slide. And these over here are determine, uh, determine whether I want the shadow or the outline on for these individual, or for each individual text box on each individual slide. If I had mul multiple text boxes on each slide, then these options would affect all of the text in each text box on every slide. And then if I wanted to actually change the shadow and outline functions, that's what this little sprocket is, it allows me, allows me to change my shadow and outline preferences. And then uh, I can hit apply all, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So when I actually get all of the different settings exactly the way I want them for a particular presentation, I can then come down to my playlist, or it could be all uh, multiple presentations within your, your master library, and you can select multiple presentations. And when you hit the apply all button, it's going to take all of these settings, and I'll go ahead and say center align, it's gonna apply all of the settings that I have specified here to all of the presentations that I have selected. And again, because we're doing a manipulation on multiple presentations, uh, presumably this would be done uh, before a, a, an actual program or service, uh, I can see that all of these changes have now taken effect for each one of the presentations that I have in my playlist. Um, I could do the entire library at once if I wanted to. And uh, just to demonstrate this, 
and what this actually looks like on a on a background I'll just uh, make a slide live and show you what that looks like full screen. So you see that I've got the, the font has been chosen, the color is chosen, it's centered, it's in the middle uh, vertically, and it has an outline and a shadow as part of that as well. So that, are, that explains the global formatting options that we have within ProPresenter, but in, uh, ProPresenter 4. But we've also taken that up a notch because you don't always want to have um, that text box and you know that, that takes up the full screen. And so this is going to get into our, our, our one of the great new features of ProPresenter 4, which is templates. And templates are essentially format options for a specific slide that you that you can set up ahead of time. And to demonstrate the, I'd like to demonstrate the power of templates uh, before I actually get into how they work and how you can create your own templates. And to do that, in that same formatting bar, I have an apply template button. And what this actually allows me to do is apply a template that I've created to a presentation. So I'm actually going to go under this sample templates and you see I've got a number of different looks here. So I can actually choose this lower third purple box look and I'm actually just going to choose that. And you can see all of the slides have been have been formatted that have they now have this graphic blue box uh, on on the bottom third and then the the text uh, is aligned in the middle of this lower third box. And if I make that live, you can see what that looks like. You can see it's actually slightly transparent. Uh, my shadow and outline are gone because that was not chosen as part of the, of the actual template. <clears throat> and again, I can apply templates to multiple presentations all at once. So how did I actually create these, these templates that I have here? Well, it's actually very simple. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can do it. One is to actually, when you're selecting a template, you can actually go in and edit the template group. And when I say edit template group, all of the templates for that particular group, and all of these templates are actually saved in their own files as part of, of uh, ProPresenter's master preferences. <clears throat> all these templates are shown for this particular group are shown just like uh, slides would in my in my presentation slide editor. So as I click through these, you can see the look of each of these individual templates. So let's say in this particular case, I wanted to change this template uh, and not have it quite so left aligned, this, this text box, uh, that I can actually change this, the sizing of this particular box. And let's say I didn't want it to be uh, purple, I wanted it to be a different color. Um, I can actually then choose for my fill color to not be a blue, but I'll actually choose a really garish uh, green color. That's not so bad. Okay, so that is now when I close the text box or close my template editor, that's actually going to be saved as part of this template. So now when I come under the apply template button, it's going to have the changes that I, I, I made to template six. And so when I choose that, you can see that all those changes have now um, been, been made effective. Now, when you apply a template to a slide, the slide no longer, once, once a template has been applied, the slide does not retain any uh, link to that existing template. That is to say, if I make any further changes to the template, it's not going to affect any slides uh, that, that have had that template applied. It's merely applying the characteristics of that template to the slide. And I can have a lot of different objects uh, on, on my templates. So, for example, in this template group, I have actually created a, a template that actually has this, uh, this transparent PNG sunflower uh, on it. So, in this text box is, is chosen, the, bo the bounds of this text box are, uh, are determined by the, the box itself, and I can change the alignment and the margins for this particular text box if I like. I can change the, the shadow and, and uh, the color, all those different formatting options that I have within my uh, inspector here. It's, it's literally just like you are editing a slide, but in this case, you're actually affecting and changing this particular template. Now, in some cases, I've actually uh, created a presentation that has a, a particular look. Let's say I'm, I'm editing this slide and I do a number of different things to it, uh, and I actually like what I'm doing, um, and I actually want to make a template out of it. So, for example, I'll just make a couple different changes here. Um, I'm going to change the font. We use impact, and I'll change the size. <clears throat> and let's say you're doing this for a particular service that you have at your church. Uh, my church has 
a number of different, uh, they'll do a series of, of different services. And so oftentimes we'll want to brand that a, a particular way. And so we can do that. Um, I'll change the, the color of this particular text box and we'll make it a, I don't know, that, that looks like a nice color. And let's say I actually wanted to, to make this a, and save this, this look as a specific template. Well, I can do that by coming under the file menu and say save selected slides as template and then it allow me to give it a template name or I canceled out of that if I'm actually in the uh, the presentation view I can actually right click on a particular uh, slide and uh, actually choose when I choose the template menu I can say create new template or I'm sorry save selected slides as template and again it's going to come up with this and I can say um, series uh, template and I'll say save and now my template library actually has a new option which is the series template uh, and if I choose that and to choose to apply it then it will actually take effect on all of the slides of that presentation so that's one way that you can create um, new templates you can also just choose uh, under any of these template menus you can actually just choose to create a new template directly and that will take you right into the template editor um, so that's uh, an easy way to apply multiple or apply templates to a presentation or multiple presentations I can actually select multiple presentations come out of the template menu and apply this series template to each of those and it's going to ask you uh, do you want to refactor that's what we call applying a template to um, given slides and I'll go ahead and say yes I'd like to refactor all of the slides for the chosen presentations uh, and now it is finished so when I come through and look at all these presentations all of the slides have been formatted uh, in that manner I can also uh, apply a template to just one slide so if I right click or control click on a specific slide I can actually choose a template and I'll go into my tutorial templates and I'll choose the sunflower template and that will actually apply the template just to that slide if I have multiple slides selected which I can do select multiple slides here these first four that are in view I can actually right click go to my template menu and then choose a tutorial template that way it will only affect the specific slides so templates are again a very very powerful way that you can actually format multiple slides at one time now the way that ProPresenter 4 works when you create a new presentation the uh, the new presentation is created based on a chosen template so that's what this template menu is up here is it allows me to choose a template that will be used whenever I create a new presentation so if I choose this particular template and I say create new that's actually going to create a new untitled presentation and you can see that it actually used the uh, the template that I had selected um, and any additional slides that are actually created are going to adhere to the same template that I actually had chosen so that is a brief overview of templates and I hope you enjoy using them